Hey guys, so the rapidly growing population in China, even back in the early 2000s, led to issues with the lack of accessibility to the national railroads. So, the Chinese government focused on building high-speed railroads that would alleviate the burden on the normal lines and increase the speed of passenger trains on them. By late 2017, China was home to about two-thirds of the world's high-speed railroad lines and used over 2,600 high-speed train pairs a day. Now, in late 2019, an unusual high-speed chengdu Giang line 403 miles long was finished. This project cost $11.2 billion. Now, this complex line runs through a region with many mountains, so most of it involves complex engineering designs. About 85% of the new railway is on bridges or through tunnels. The first part of the railway, 84 miles long, from Chengdu to Leshan, was opened in 2014, and construction of the last part, from Yibin to Giang, began in 2013. Giang and Chengdu are large transport hubs in southwestern China that provide fast access to the eastern and southern coastal regions of the country for a large population. Now, Chinese government officials think building this new high-speed railway should decrease the poverty level matching the Chinese strategy of developing the hard-to-reach western parts of the country. This line will also improve transport access to places with tourist destinations. So, overpopulation and transport aren't China's only problems, though. This country, with a furiously growing economy, has an ecological problem. So, this railway is one of the country's first railway projects whose construction strictly followed ecological norms. They paid special attention to interact with the environment as little as possible and to protect the wild animals and plants along the route. For example, the designers needed three years to develop the optimal railway route across the Minjiang River in order to affect the rare fish in the area as little as possible. Marking this project ecologically clean required technology that reduces vibrations and noise, as well as a monitoring of the construction and used to guarantee that the large infrastructure project won't affect the rare fish along the route. The part of the railway that runs through the picturesque Yixie in Sichuan required tons of effort to preserve the flora along the route. But in addition to the ecological side, there were also the practical and aesthetic sides to keep in mind. Plants and trees provide wonderful views along the route. Along with the cultural and ecological problems, the chengdu giang Railway was made in a way to withstand rock slides and landslides in the instable mountain parts of the route. And they broke some world records here. Now, the bridge across the Jincha River in Yibin measures 6,151 feet long, and it has a two-layer design with six lanes on the bottom and four lanes on the top for trains. It also has the world's largest main span at 1,102 feet the tallest pier, and the largest difference in height between the upper and lower levels. Specifically, a difference of 105 feet. Now, over two years was needed to completely cover the railway with 2G, 3G, and 4G. Train riders at riding at speeds of 155 miles per hour through the mountains can watch streams or play games on their phones using fast 4G. The company also reserved telecom resources for the future construction of 5G stations. Now, since this new line opened, it has seen over 25 million passengers, which helped increase the awareness of the various communities that it serves. The communities of ethnic minorities along the route become more recognizable among people not from the area, helping promoting understanding of their lifestyles and also supporting their growth. Now, the high-speed railway running through regions with a lower quality of life in the Umeng Mountains gives the locals hope for a better life. This new railway runs through difficult geological conditions, so it's considered the most complex railway project to have ever been done in China's mountainous regions. Now, during construction, they used cutting-edge techniques in laying the path on a tile base. 
in making the structures for the long bridges, made from reinforced cement, and more. Using a new type of transformer on the line saves them up to 710,000 kilowatt hours per year, as well as over 700 tons of CO2 waste. Now, before the high-speed railway was available for general use, it needed to undergo the acceptance procedure and a year of testing. Like most high-speed railways in China, Chengdu Giang is equipped with the National China Train Control System, and it's completely isolated to prevent unsanctioned access. There's an area 33 to 66 feet in each direction of the railway where agriculture, mining, and other activities are forbidden. Additionally, all the lines are equipped with video cameras that send data to a central post 24-7. Signals from the wind, rain, and snow thickness monitors indicate if accessible levels have been breached and automatically initiate protective measures. Seismic monitors look for signs of earthquakes and send warning signals to the train's automatic control system and disable the traction energy system. The personnel working on the high-speed lines undergoes training in a special professional technical training center by their higher qualifications programs. There's also a training center for special rescue missions in case of crashes or accidents. Now, the infrastructure on the high-speed lines is maintained and controlled very precisely. A special cleaning train runs every day before commercial use. So it's worth noting that China's railway transport until recently wasn't especially comfortable. But now these new high-speed electric trains include comfort and maintenance as important factors. The high-speed rails are used by the new high-speed fusion trains that provide passengers with a smart operational system and intellectual comforts. The high-speed electric trains are armed with new technologies and services, including intellectual analysis of data, wireless 5G connections, and energy-saving AC. These trains usually have over 3,000 sensors that control the status of its components. The new train also has a streamlined design that helps decrease aerodynamic resistance by 7.4% and decreases energy consumption by 10% compared to the previous model. The new model's rolling stock were doubled with barrier-free wagons with wider entrances, barrier-free bathrooms, storage for wheelchairs, and movement designs including braille. And the restaurant wagon has vending machines where you can buy drinks and snacks. Additionally, according to the company, quiet wagons in the smart trains reduce noise level to just one-third of other wagons. The improved atmosphere in the wagon makes the ride more comfortable for its passengers. Now, the upper part of the wagon has 29-inch wide screen displays that provide information on the route and entertainment. Lights turn on in the bathroom automatically when a passenger enters. The AC systems automatically regulate the difference in temperature and pressure depending on the outside environment and the inside of the train. High-speed railways like chengdu Giang use cooled wagons with a special oxygen-providing design to avoid mountain sickness among the passengers. So the beginning of this new railway shows that they have the know-how for building high-speed railways in mountainous regions and the desire for the Chinese to develop their country without wasting energy or money. Well, that's all for today. Leave a like and comment. Let me know, would you rather travel cross-country by train or plane? And uh, we'll see you again next time.